Oh, yes. This is some perfect brisket. Okay, so we are going to smoke a little bit of a brisket. So this isn't competition style brisket. This is more of a restaurant style backyard brisket. We're cooking the whole packer. So that means we have two very different cuts within the brisket. We have the flat, which is the leaner cut of the brisket. And then we have the point, which is up here, which has lots of intermuscular fat. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna brush this with a little bit of mustard. Now you could use any mustard of your choice. At Mabel's, we have a mustard sauce that we use on the table. And what this is doing is two things. It's gonna add some flavor. Obviously, it's gonna add a little bit of moisture. But the other thing that it is going to do is it's gonna help our rub stick. I am just using uh, coarse ground black pepper and kosher salt for this rub because I want the brisket to kind of be the star of this show. You could add other things to your rub. You could add paprika, you could add, some people add sugar. I wouldn't add sugar to a brisket rub because this is a 14 to 18 hour cook and it's gonna cause things to burn. So now we're just gonna rub this in a little bit just to get that nice binder on there. And we're just coating the brisket. And now we're just gonna come with this coarse ground black pepper and kosher salt rub. And don't put too much rub on. So we're gonna go above we're gonna give it a good sprinkle so it's evenly coated. You don't have to go crazy with the rub, just a nice even coating on all sides. Flip, and then we're gonna get obviously both sides. Once this is all seasoned up, it's then gonna go in our smoker. With a brisket, some people go 225, I, you see up to 275. I've even seen some people in Texas go 300. These are all different preferences uh, that you could use. So this is ready to go on the smoker. I'm at about 250. I'm gonna put the point closest to the heat source. So I'm gonna point the point towards the box because it could end up to the heat a little bit longer. This is gonna go for eh, anywhere between 12 and 16 hours until it reaches an internal temp of 205. We are gonna wrap this in peach butcher paper at about the 100, 160 to five uh, degree mark. We could miss it going up to that point every 30 to 45 minutes. All right, so the brisket's been going for about 14 hours. It is at uh, 207 degrees right now. We wrapped it in the butcher paper at the 160, 165 degree point, and you can see that butcher paper, it served its purpose. Pretty much basically coated in fat now from the cooking, but this is already cooked through. It's ready to go. I'm just gonna move it to my tray, and then we will slice this up. Oh, yes. Let's take a look at this. If we open it up, you can see the butcher paper is great because it's held in a ton of moisture. It sped up our cook a little bit. Let's take this out. This is the flat part of the brisket. The point is back here. You can see it has that nice jiggle that we're looking for. If you're slicing brisket, you slice it about as thick as a number two pencil. We're gonna cut the flat until we get to the point. The tricky thing about slicing a whole pack of brisket like this is the flat and the point, the grain of the meat, runs two different ways. So if you just cut this way from end to end, it's gonna get tough down here once you get to the point. So we are gonna wait till we get to that point and then we are gonna spin this brisket around and cut through the point. So we're gonna get about two more cuts here before we spin it. There is your flat. You can see how beautiful that is. You can see there's still a good amount of fat. And now we're gonna start cutting the point. And if you want, you could go even a little thinner on the point because it has so much great natural fat in there. Look at that. If you look at a piece of the lean, the fat is the cap on top. The meat itself is relatively lean. If you look at a piece of the fatty or the point, you have all that intermuscular fat in there, which to me brings a lot more flavor to the game. You could eat this naked just like this. I mean, fully clothed, but your meat would be naked. Or you could drizzle it with a little bit of sauce. The choice is yours. But at the end of the day, this, it's some perfect brisket.